Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a P.O. Box video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Sometimes I'll go a month or two and get like a package, and then this time I go in and I had a truckload. It was ridiculous. So anyways, let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, I, I had to, this one like freaked me out. I was like, what the, and it was from, uh, it was from Europe, so it like went through customs, and I was really scared. I didn't know what the hell was going on but anyways so you get in here and you got a little crazy little crazy dude i gotta get the camera to focus on him little crazy dude my lighting is bad in here guys look at this little guy with his pistol and his knife and his mustache just ready to mess stuff up but then i noticed on the back there's a little logo here tannenberg eastern front 1914 1918 and uh inside there is Verdun. There is a card from Verdun, which is a video game, if you guys didn't know. And on the back, there is a, uh, there's a code. You know what? I'll just go ahead and show it to you guys. Not that I'm not interested in playing, but I'll probably have an email with a code in it or something, unless that actually was. You know what? Maybe I wasn't supposed to show I don't know. Maybe I just got in trouble. But anyways, check out Verdun, whoever got it. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Oh, there's another card in here. Hold on. This is personalized. Hi, Jehovah. How are you? Thanks for opening your gift. We hope you like it. Uh, hope you like it and hope to persuade you to have a look at our game, uh, Tannenberg, which releases February 13th. I'll also wait. Um, I'll also mail you with some more details. The gift is a poly dolly that was used to play with in World War I. That is awesome. So thank you so much from the team there. I really appreciate that, especially anything handwritten. I just, I don't know, it means a lot because I get packages from, from you know gaming companies all the time and they're not all handwritten. It means something. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. It is a pretty cool little dude. I'll set him up over on my shelf. A uh, nice little talking piece, you know what I'm saying? And then, this one's random, right? Uh, I saw Zippo. <laughs> Zippo tweeted some stuff about a hand warmer or something, and I was like, I like mine. I replied to it. I was like, I like mine. I've got the one that runs on fuel. and uh, But I was curious about these, these electric ones, and they hit me up in the DMs, and like, yo, we'll send you one. So, again, haven't gotten a chance to try that out yet. Obviously, that's still sealed. But as you can see... A handwritten letter from Zippo. Hey, Hova, we were glad to hear you were interested in trying out one of our rechargeable hand warmers. Included, enclosed, excuse me, you'll find one of the Heatbank 6 models. Uh, it'll recharge your devices and keep your hands agile while you're gaming. Let us know if you like, or how you like it, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out the Zippo social team. And then there's some stickers in there, so that's pretty cool. So shout out to the Zippo team, I appreciate that. I will be definitely using that. Uh, well, I don't know how much anytime soon, but when hunting season rolls around, trust me, it'll be used. So, cause I was always worried about the fuel one if you know the deer could smell it. But this one came from a dude in my chat was like, hey, I work at this like gaming peripheral company and they've got some cool stuff, you should try it. And uh, then they they hit me up in my business email. So this is called the Switch Up Game Enhancer. I haven't gotten to try these yet, so I can't vouch for how good they are. But I'm sure they I'm sure it works. Uh, use your existing controller on Switch. So basically, uh, wireless and wired controller support for PS4, PS3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. You plug this into your Switch, all those controllers work, which I was very interested in because I'm a sucker for Xbox controllers. And I do play a lot of Switch, so, you know, those things kind of go hand in hand. And then, oh, you know what's funny? I think I already have one of these. They sent me one of these. I picked up one of these years ago. Well, I don't know how long ago, but I picked up one of these because I think I saw it at Walmart. And I was like, well, that's really cool because you can just add paddles to any controller and turn it into, like, an auto trigger and stuff. Hashtag cheater. And uh, yeah, I tried it out and it worked really well. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one. If not, um, it looks like it's the same idea. So yeah, I haven't tried these yet, obviously, but a uh, huge shout out to them. Thank you so much for that. And uh, maybe if I like those, we can even work something out and you know be able to give some away to use guys and stuff like that. Then in here, I posted something on Instagram quite a while back about how 
I wanted to start collecting, um, what was it? I wanted to start collecting, oh, it was because I bought that Halo edition, old school, original Xbox, right? And I, I mentioned in the post, like, how I want to start just collecting all the awesome, because Xbox over the years has released so many sweet custom consoles. One of those being the Modern Warfare 2 Xbox 360, and I had, like, I had numerous people reach out to me on Instagram, and they were like, hey, man, I've got one just laying around, like, I'm not using it, I'll just ship it to your P.O. Box, and I was like, sure, like, if that's what you want to do, and, um, oh, yeah, I forgot, guys, in the Zippo package, there was also a guitar pick, so I am not musically talented whatsoever, actually, I got a pretty sweet voice, uh, <laughs> you guys know that, but, uh, yeah, I got a Zippo guitar pick, so how cool is that? I gotta make sure I don't lose that. But anyways, yeah, so the MW2 Xbox 360, which is sick because I would like to get, like, the MW2, the MW3. There's even a Reach Xbox 360 that's actually pretty cool looking and stuff like that. I just want to have them, like, on a shelf, like, in my gaming room or whatever, you know what I mean? I want to have, like, if I can think of some sort of a way to display them, maybe I'll do that. But I thought it was kind of funny. He actually even sent his copy <laughs> of Modern Warfare 2, which I did not need. I already had this, but thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. And then this bag over here, this Dollar General bag just got all the cables in it. You don't need to see that. But, And then we got one from uh, OG Photography on Insta and Raxo 101 on Tweeters. And uh, he said, P.S. these aren't shoes. <laughs> but this guy hooked it up. I appreciate this so much. We got the Gears of War. 360. This is actually the Gears of War 3 is the game that it came uh, out with, I think, for, you know, for like uh, advertising or whatever I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, this Xbox 360 is actually amazing. First of all, it's not the original Xbox 360. It's the, what do they call these? The S-types or whatever. And it is just, the art on it is absolutely awesome. I have the Xbox One uh, Gears of War console and it's just one of the coolest things I've ever owned. So now, I always saw these and I'm like, man, why did I never get the Gears 360? I just never had one. My 360 at the time apparently was functioning enough that I didn't need it, but but yeah, so uh, sometimes these are hard. I, you know, I've only seen a couple of them, to be honest. And a lot of times when you see them, you don't see them with the controllers anymore. And he actually sent me both of the damn controllers that come with it. So, absolutely awesome. I, uh... I don't know, it might just end up on a shelf, but honestly, that might get hooked up somewhere in my house. Like, for my kids to, even if it goes in my kids' room just to, you know, play movies or whatever, um, as long as they take care of it, they better respect it. But, uh, yeah, so that is absolutely awesome. And uh, obviously all the cords and everything are even in there. So we got all that. A lot of very, a lot of very generous people. Oh, and he sent the game too, that's, that's hilarious. Both of them, both of them sent the console and the game, like I didn't already have the game. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. It's like, it's like our very, very early Christmas this year, basically. And then I had my dude Colton from my streams. He knows that I got a little side hustle going on. I've always, here in the Midwest, a lot of people sell video games, like at thrift shops and garage sales and stuff like that, and they really just don't know what they have. I found some really good, like I found the Metal Steelbook Halo 2 Collector's Edition for 25 cents or 50 cents at a garage sale, and they're worth like well over 20 bucks. So I find that kind of stuff all the time, right? Oh god. Oh, excuse me. So I'm not editing that out, you guys. That's behind the scenes content right there. Um, but anyways, I find stuff like that all the time, and if it's not a game that I'm into or want for my personal collection, I just throw it on eBay and flip a profit, you know? You gotta always stay hustling. But I do that a little more officially now, and I've been having a lot of fun with it, and uh, it's been going great. A lot of people have uh, been nice enough to be buying a lot of stuff out of my eBay store. I'll actually link it in the description if you guys are interested, but my dude Colton, he watches all the streams, and I don't know why, but for some reason he says that he can't, uh, he just doesn't have it set up to where he can like donate, um, you know, digitally, right? Like he just can't send the donation. I guess he just doesn't have a PayPal and all that stuff. So I, I don't know. So he said that he's got a bunch of games laying around and they're not being played and he doesn't have any use for them. And he would like to just send them as a donation for my eBay shop. And would I accept them? And I was like, sure, if that's what you want to do. And this is what he sent me. So he just sent me 
loads of games and there I'll give you guys a quick little quick little peek he even sent this he like sent me a picture of it and I was like oh yeah that's cool I didn't think he was gonna send it though um, but I, it's some sort of a like arcade joystick for for wrestling game I have no idea but it's really cool because it's still in the box all you old school wrestling fans would probably uh, be interested in that I watched a little bit of wrestling growing up but it wasn't my like main thing and that like a Game Boy Color like tons of GBA games there's like a crash game there I see an Ice Age game there's a fairly odd parents game there's a Tetris Spyro he, he's man he hooked it up like look at this stuff what an unopened PS2 eye toy bruh what I didn't even realize that was in there to be honest this is the first time I've like really gone I, I looked at it uh, when I was at the post office but I didn't really like dig through it all the way I don't even know what that is that's some sort of Pokemon device what is that? There's a little watch. That's <laughs> John Cena, dude. Ba, ba, da, ba. Sorry, guys. I got the sniffles now. Oh, my lord. So much packaging. Bro, look like Colton hooked it up, man. He's like, and then he apologized. He's like, I'm sorry I can't donate and everything. I'm like, bro, you sent me all these, like, awesome old games. This isn't, like, random N64 tiles. We got Pokemon Puzzle League, Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64. Uh, what's this one? Rampage, we got Diddy Kong Racing in there, a Lego, Lego Racer, uh, like, dude, come on, man, too nice, Colton, uh, Spongebob Squarepants Employee of the Month PC CD-ROM game, he said he actually wants me to stream this, I don't know if it'll be compatible with Windows 10, but I will try it, I will try it, uh, looks like there's a couple random, I don't know what that is, is that... PS2, yeah, PS2, Mad Cats or something like that, and we got like a, some sort of a GameCube controller, 64 controller, and Zelda and Batman 3 on DS. <sighs> I think, I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much, everybody that sent this stuff to me, first of all, obviously, uh, Zippo, the game, the peripheral company, which I don't, what is the name? What is the name of these guys? Collective Minds. That's it. Collective. Stupid camera. Collective Minds is the company that sent me the. It's all. It's too shiny. There we go. Uh, but shout out to everybody that sent the stuff. Uh, I love you guys very much. And I'll catch you on the next PO Box video. Bye bye.